Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to my very first 2023 LEGO Indiana Jones review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 77012, Fighter Plane Chase. This set includes 387 pieces and retails for $34.99 when it released on April 1st of 2023. This set is based off the third movie in the Indiana Jones franchise, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and I think they picked a really good scene to depict here. It is one that I don't think we've actually seen before in LEGO form. We actually have seen a different plane chase with these characters, but this is actually the first time that we're getting this particular scene with these vehicles, which look fantastic. I think they're the best builds of the wave. You also get a really nice selection of figures here with Indiana Jones Professor Henry Jones Sr., Indy's father, as well as this fighter pilot, which is such an interesting figure to see them include. And same thing goes for this build when it comes to modern day Lego and controversies and stuff like that. It's just really interesting to see that this thing still exists compared to, say, the Temple of Doom, which we'll see the outcome of that sometime in the future, I suppose. From the back of the box, you get another angle of this build, as well as your push tabs, which is annoying, and also some other really nice scene pictures from the back here. Absolutely love the box art as well. Just have to comment on that when it comes to some of the small details like the fertility idol being shown around it. I think that's really interesting. And you do get your Lego version of Indiana Jones from the very top compared to the actual Harrison Ford himself, which you'll see on the 2008 through 2009 sets. Included in the box are three numbered bags, your sticker sheet and your instruction manual. The sticker sheet looks to be using a clear background sticker sheet, specifically when it comes to this, which will be used on like the cockpit of the plane. And we also have some more decals that'll mostly go on the plane design. Instructions follow the same style you'll be seeing for the other Indiana Jones sets with the render and the logo from the top. Get more of a booklet style for this one as well. From the back, you get your win guy and your piece count for two pages. And one more additional page. No advertisements, so no Temple of Doom. For our first minifigure, I wanted to talk about the Fighter Pilot, which is exclusive with a brand new torso print, which is seemingly more accurate than the last version of the Fighter Pilot, which I am going to bring out from one of the cheaper sets that I own. Um, of course, we don't have the problem of printing a lighter color on the darker surface there, but we have less of a lot of the, I guess, artillery there. We have those extra bits of ammunition on the belt. But this one, you just see the jumpsuit, which I think turned out all right. You get some brown hands for some gloves and some back printing. Another thing that I have to point out is the reuse facial expression, and I believe this is the only reuse facial expression of this entire wave. This particular facial expression once appeared in LEGO Star Wars back in 2015, mostly in the sequel based sets, and it also appeared on Oliver Wood from Harry Potter. Really interesting to see it used here. I think it works fine for this particular character. We also get a recolor for the helmet piece. It's for the very first time in that tan color and some goggles which you can flip up and down on your character. You can see the little eyes coming out of that a little bit. Again, just a crazy figure to see included within the Lego set, and I will also include the art reference over here just so then you can compare and see that this is actually truly accurate to the source material, which is just mind-blowing. Next up, we have the adventurer himself, Indiana Jones, who is exclusive to this set because we get a brand new torso print, which includes this tie over his normal attire. I think it's fantastic that they actually made a new torso piece for him. This facial expression will also be the same one included within the tomb set. Same thing goes for that hair hat combo, which is brand new for 2023. And I absolutely love the hair hat combo. I think it turned out all right with the dark brown and the regular brown mixing there, that dual molded situation. Even had a little bit of stubble from the other facial expression showing from the back, which I honestly do not mind. You can also see the back printing, which is more than we got back in 2008. One thing I do have to mention when it does come to this figure is the fact that he does not include his side handbag compared to all the other Indiana Jones that we've gotten in the past, though he does have his classic whip, 
which is that same style with that soft plastic so you can move it around a lot. I absolutely love that piece. Now to finish us off, I did want to take a look at that facial expression where you get an open mouth grin from the front and from the back, a more unhappy look from when his father's telling him off. Really love the facial expression on this figure. I think it turned out really great. And again, it's just really nice to see Lego making an exclusive torso piece. They could have just given us the same one we got in the tomb, but they decided not to. Now to finish us off, we have Indy's dad, Professor Henry Jones Sr. This figure I think turned out all right. One thing I do have to complain about is that the facial expression isn't as great as the one that we got back in 2008. Here's just a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Might as well remove the hats. So you can take a better look at these faces side-by-side. -side. I definitely think the older 2008 facial expression captures this character a lot better than the new one just because I don't like the combination of the white and the gray. I wish there was more gray in the beard there. You might also notice with me putting them side by side is the fact that they have the same color outfit and the hat piece there being the same exact one between both figures. I definitely think they should have made a new hat piece for this character just because I don't think this is fully accurate to the source material, but whatever. Hat piece doesn't cover the full back side of the head, so we only get the one facial expression printing from the back of the torso because they can do that now in 2023 and we also get a really neat accessory that being his little diary which has all the information about the holy grail really amazing that they included this as a one by one printed tile piece otherwise not as detailed as i would have liked him to be but still a decent figure to see included in this set nevertheless now, some people may think that this set is a remake, but actually this is the first time that we're getting this scene in LEGO form. Now, what LEGO thinks they're remaking here is the fighter plane attack, and that is where what I've seen advertised around that that is the set that LEGO is trying to recreate when it comes to this scene. Though, however, what we see here in front of us actually happens directly after that particular scene. The smallest build included in the set is for this little patch of sand with a little plant and a sign pointing us in the right direction, Berlin. We have a little underpass, which is where this entire scene takes place and how we take down that Nazi fighter plane. Never would I imagine in 2023 that LEGO would be making a military vehicle as of such, and even one that is like a Nazi fighter plane. It's just kind of ridiculous that this did not get cancelled compared to the Temple of Doom set. Honestly, I shouldn't even be saying this, putting ideas in LEGO's head if they decide to watch this video, but my main biggest problem with this build are stickers that have clear backgrounds and leave ugly, ugly marks on the transclear pieces as you see here for the cockpit. This should have, this should have been printed and not a sticker. I mean, they could have just easily put some budget in here. That would have been really nice of them. I mean, they did cancel Temple of Doom. They could have put that budget onto making this a print. That would have been really nice of them. But anyways, removing the cockpit. You can do that nice and easily connected by those studs there. Fits in like a charm. You get your one minifigure sitting in the cockpit area, remove him, you can see the two studs where you can sit him down. And we also happen to get two of these one by one tile prints. We've actually seen those before in many other sets, nothing too special. And a little lever, so you can have him control the little lever if you want. Moving around the vehicle, we have the back tail, some stickers to add some extra details. You get this light gray, dark gray color scheme with a little bit of sand green. If you know me, I love sand green with it being one of those colors you see a lot in Harry Potter. From the front you get your propeller, which I absolutely love spinning that around. You get this paddle piece over here in black, which I believe only comes in one other set at least at the moment. Get your engines there with the pose piece, which looks really nice. And of course, LEGO wouldn't feel right about themselves if they didn't include some type of shootable weapon on this vehicle. Now, when you shoot this down, it'll shoot off one of these one by one circular tile pieces in black. Interesting that it's a tile and not a stud. I guess that makes it less dangerous. I, I don't know. But anyways, we get one from each side of the wing. And that brings us to our main play feature of the set. And that is when this plane actually follows the car through that passageway 
you can make it spontaneously combust by snapping off the wings which are connected using some of these ball joint connections there which also gives it a little bit of a angle there which I actually really like the angle I think that turned out really nice but still great that they included this reference here makes it so our heroes actually win versus this guy instead of lose and we also get a little bit of fire which is a nice touch and you can also see the landing gear from the very bottom which unfortunately can't um, be brought up you can remove it if you want to but still it's just there for show and it also allows you to make this go on the ground like a land vehicle to be honest, both of these vehicles just turned out fantastic. We have our convertible car, which I think the colors here work very well. The combination of white and black and a little bit of light gray, dark gray around this. Get your headlights and the main like engine front area. The windshield is probably the one thing that I also have to complain about when it comes to this, as that's actually supposed to have a sheet of glass there but unfortunately it's just this piece which you'll also be able to find on optimus prime by the way that's an interesting fun fact we get some doors which cannot open they're just stickered from both sides get a spot to sit both of your minifigures in here so you can put both indy and his father same connection as we saw in the fighter plane there when you sit them down and a steering wheel i also have to point out the back area where you get some really nice slanting building techniques with the back headlights and even this rounded circular tile piece which i believe is to represent a spare tire for this vehicle i think it's really funny that they include that as a tile and i also have to point out these pieces in black are really nice to get in this set absolutely love that and lastly we have some accessories we have both this little suitcase here which has nothing in it and we have a little trunk which is connected with this jumper plate opening up the trunk which is the flat lid type which we saw introduced in lego harry potter last year we have two accessories for our minifigures we happen to get this umbrella for indy's father really love that they included that and of course a nice little pistol gun which would be nice to give to one of your minifigures so overall for 35 dollars is this set worth it i mean if you get any of the lego indiana jones sets i definitely recommend this one it is really interesting to see that lego actually made a nazi fighter plane it's something that i never imagined to see in 2023 and considering that they canceled the temple of doom this it's just it's really interesting to see that this exists that's really all that i have to say minifigure selection i think is fantastic including three exclusive minifigures and the builds are also just really extraordinary this plane has all the features that i would want it to have and this car just looks really nice and sleek and the color scheme is fantastic if you're a fan of indiana jones you're gonna love this set and i also think you're gonna love the other two sets which i should have reviews for coming in the next couple of weeks so yeah that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't have to upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!